so in the last video that i did on one's justice in the tenure either video that i did on the channel last week i told you guys that if i got 12 likes for that video i would do a video on uraraka and you guys gave me 15 likes so i really do appreciate you guys for liking the video and pretty much if you guys keep the likes going i can be able to put out more content like this because by you guys liking the videos that's how i know if you guys want to see the content or not so definitely keep the likes going so i can definitely keep doing more videos like this for my hero so pretty much for today's video on my hero wants justice we're gonna be doing a video on uraraka and you know you can't use gravity without uravity you feel me so i'm gonna be using her in some ranked matches and i'll be going into her character a little bit and what i like about her character on a whole so i hope you guys do enjoy what i have to say and the gameplay on a whole so let's get it real quick <laughs> Alright, so we're just waiting on our first opponent, but in the meantime, I think I'll be using this opportunity to talk about Ochako's contributions real quick. And one of the contributions I'll be talking about is how she's the reason as to why Deku is able to attend UA High. So really and truly, every single student had to take an entry level exam to enter into UA. So basically, everyone had to fight robots, right? They had to fight robots using their quirk so that the pro hero the pro heroes sorry are able to evaluate just how powerful these students are when it comes to the quirks that they are using and how versatile they are using said quirk. So pretty much Ochako was getting her points by defeating some of the robots, you know, everybody else was getting their points the same way as well by defeating the robots also. But it wasn't until this huge robot came into the play, you know, and basically every single student was running away for their lives. But because Ochako overused her zero gravity quirk, she was rendered pretty much nauseous. Because once she overuses her zero gravity quirk, she's nauseous and she starts to vomit. So Deku saw that she was in trouble and the giant robot was about to step on her nobody else was turning their box to actually save her so he had to be the one to take matters into his own hands to save her from the giant robot so he basically used one for all in his legs to jump up in the air and one for all in his arm to use this one huge powerful smash to defeat the robot and prevent it from stomping on Ochako so pretty much because Deku rescued her and because Ochako actually told the pro heroes that Deku is the reason as to why I wasn't stomped on by that giant robot, you know, he got enough rescue points because he actually saved someone in the examination. So they used that as a basis to say, yes, we're going to be needing him in UA High. So he's definitely qualified to enter into UA High. And that's the school in which Deku always wanted to attend from ever since he was a kid really. He always admired pro heroes and there's a lot of famous pro heroes at UA. So he really wanted to attend the school and Ochako was the main reason as to why, you know, he was able to enter into the school in the first place. And not to mention she even saved him as well using her same quirk despite her feeling nausea she know she actually slapped him in the face to prevent him from actually falling to his death when he overused one for all too much because at that point in the beginning of the series he didn't really knew how to use one for all too well so yeah he ended up breaking his bones every single time he uses it so yeah she had to save him and prevent him from falling fully so he wouldn't die so that's two instances in the same scenario in which she actually helped the dude out, you know. So I gotta say, she actually pushed Deku forward by letting him actually go to UA. Because if she didn't did all of that, if she wasn't the one that told the pro heroes, hey, you know, this dude saved me and whatnot, you know, and, you know, Deku having enough rescue points... He wouldn't make it into the school in the first place. So I just thought I needed to mention that, you know, because she actually pushed him forward into the story by 
her actually doing that but yeah as i go along i think i'll talk more about her contributions but so far we're playing this matchup and we won the first match surprisingly this dude was a pretty high ranked and yeah i wasn't even realizing that i was beating his ass man i was talking so much and into the gameplay i wasn't even too focused on the match but we'll move on to the second matchup real quick where i'll be talking about ochako's backstory so i hope you guys do hear what i have to say about that one and i need to talk about her backstory most of all and her backstory is about her wanting to help her family typically her parents right as a young girl she had this goal in mind that she wanted to become a hero to help her parents and to help herself getting enough money necessary to do that because by being a hero it actually pays more than any ordinary job because you're actually putting yourself in harm's way just to save civilians from villainy or from any natural disaster so really and truly that's what she had in mind and to me that's not a bad reasoning as to why she wants to become a hero and it's not like she's being selfish either because she actually cares about the people around her she loves Deku she loves her friends she do anything even if it means putting herself in harm's way just to save innocent bystanders innocent civilians so really and truly she is the embodiment of what a hero should be you know not letting her personal goals get in the way or make it lose sight of what's really important she wants to save others so really and truly i find that to be commendable if anything because it's realistic we all want to help our parents especially parents who treat us really good and parents who actually gave us a life that's pretty happy you feel me so pretty much that's really good in itself as to why she wants to become a hero you feel me so i gotta mention that much man because people really do believe that hey you know she just wants to become a hero off the fact that hey she can see deku all the time you know and because she's a love interest for deku you feel me she doesn't really have that much depth to her character and i beg to differ on that because yes she is a love interest for deku but she has way more to her character than just being a simple love interest or being a one-dimensional character and i can tell you guys this much and really and truly based on her contribution so far she has a solid backstory she has a solid contribution in the beginning of the series by helping deku attend to ua where he later meet all of 1a when it comes to shoto and all the other 1a students seeing bakugo seeing all my seeing all the other pro heroes who would later on help him to develop as a character you feel me she was the one who made deku take that first step into greatness so i gotta mention that much at least man you feel me because people really do believe that because a character has a love interest that means that she is not a compelling character and i've been seeing this motion being thrown around so many times and it's just downright ridiculous because yes character can be a love interest but they can have more depth to your character than just being a simple love interest I see Sarda being one of these types being mentioned, I see Noel being one of these types mentioned and I just don't like to hear it on a whole, you feel me? Because these characters are actually good outside of just being the typical love interest, that's just one dimensional, they actually have characterization to them. But this match was really amazing though, but let's move on to the last one real quick, let's get it. besides contributions i'm just going to be talking about one of the moments i actually like with her and that's in the sports festival arc where she actually went up against bakugo for the first time and she knew how bakugo was when it came on to his quirk she knew how aggressive he is she knew how versatile he is when it comes on to his explosions so she took it up in her own hands to take bakugo's explosions head on and the way how bakugo was like putting the blast on her so much it 
was so bad to the point whereas the audience that was watching the whole fight was saying that you know Bakugo is going a bit too far and he's actually hurting her and she can't continue because of the rate that Bakugo is exploding her with his explosions you feel me and she actually had a plan in mind to where his explosions create the debris I should say on the stage and that debris whenever she ran into the explosions from Bakugo those debris she would actually put up in the air using her zero gravity quirk and then when Bakugo least expected it she just dropped all the debris that's on the stage that she put up in the air that when she was in the smoke right on Bakugo but we all knew that Bakugo eventually took notice of this and just shot one huge explosion to get rid of all that debris so it doesn't fall on him so you wouldn't lose the battle and it was so good because it shows that determination that Ochako really has you feel me to actually keep on fighting despite her being at a disadvantage you feel me and it was so good to the point where Bakugo for the first time actually commended her for trying and he actually went to Deku and said hey I know you helped her in the fight against me you feel me I know you gave her a strategy in order to use against me because he knew how tactical Deku is when it comes on to quirks and stuff like that you feel me but Deku told him that hey I wasn't the one who told her anything she planned all this against you from the start I had nothing to do with it you feel me so it really goes to show the lens that she would actually put in place you know just for her to actually defeat Bakugo and I actually like that you know and this was a whole festival arc at that too where they were just showing off in order for them to like get some hero work you feel me so that they can work alongside different pro heroes so yeah man it was really a good sight to see you feel me and i really do like that moment with her so much and i believe that's one of the best moments of her character for me personally and i think everybody else can say the same thing too about her because even though she lost she had a solid backstory she had a solid reasoning as to why she did what she did and she just wanted better for herself and for her family so it's really commendable of her character man you know it's really good of her character to actually see her actually doing so much and actually achieving and progressing pretty fair as the story goes along so yeah but let me just talk about this matchup in the meantime and I gotta say this Todoroki is really something else gotta say that much all right here we go it's only a pity we can't do like gunhead martial arts in this one I really do hope that in the next uh, season pass if we do get another version of Ochako we can be able to like get another version of her character to where she can do gunhead martial arts because this Ochako can't really do it at all but we're gonna finish it off with a level one and that's where we're gonna have to end it off this Shoto actually had the advantage but he keeps dashing every time just to hit him with fire projectiles and it will never work that way. I'm telling you that much. So I don't know what you think you were trying but it's never gonna work. I really do like her in this cheerleader outfit though. You know it's one of the costumes that I just bought and I said to myself I'll wear for this matchup. But that's gonna be it for today's round. Let me just end off this video real quick. Alright, so that's gonna be the end of today's video on Ochako. I hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay, what I had to say about her character on a whole when it comes to what I like about the character and her contributions in MHA as a whole. So yeah, I know it's a good amount of stuff that I mentioned about her character. So I hope you guys actually take a different perspective into consideration when it comes on to what I had to say. So yeah, because really and truly I believe that she's a character that is really slender on and yes I understand that she's underutilized in the series and I really do know that she should definitely get some more shine in the future but as it is right now in the current arc in MHA I don't believe that there's anywhere that she can get shine at the moment but I do believe that in the future she'll definitely play a contribution in stopping villainy and to save the hero society on a whole with Deku and all the other 1A students so I'm really looking forward to that 
to come and i'm really looking forward to how her quirk is able to upgrade in the future as well and how she's able to overcome her limits so she can use her quirk to the fullest potential so yeah i'm really looking forward to her development and i'm really looking forward to her progression and really and truly i believe that some people just use surface level reasoning such as oh because she's a love interest for deku you know she's not really that great of a character but i beg to differ because she really does have a solid backstory and she really does have a solid motive for why she wants to become a hero so really and truly i believe that people need to really look deeper into the character and realize why she wants to become a hero and it's not all just because of deku yes she likes deku but she has her own motives as to why she wants to be a hero and that's to save everybody that's to help her family and i feel as if that's a good enough goal in itself as to why she wants to become one so yeah pretty much that's all i have to say really i really can't wait to see what horikoshi has in store for her in the future and i'll be looking forward to that when that day comes but yeah definitely be sure to give the videos a thumbs up i'll be putting the like goal to 15 likes this time around so if this video gets 15 likes i'll be able to do a video on overhaul so whenever that like goal is met i'll definitely drop that video either it be next week or the other week that's depending on if we meet the 15 like goal or not if we don't reach it then you know i won't be doing that video i'll be doing something else but if we do reach it just expect that video around next week or the other week if anything depending on how i feel you know so yeah so pretty much if you have any other comments to make definitely be sure to drop that in the comment section below and make sure to follow me on twitter link to that is down below in the description as well as all my other homies social media links to their channels and whatnot so definitely be sure to hit them up and support them out as well and with all that being said hope you guys do have a wonderful day thank you all for watching this is dark side excel out one love